Hi folks, John Richardson. Going to show you a 2017 Jayco J Flight. I'd like to mention Jayco's been 10 years running number one selling travel trailer in America. I'm going to show you a couple of reasons why I believe that's going to be number 11 when we get the numbers. As we'll start with, like I said, this is a 26. It's a rear living room, very, very open as you'll see when we get inside. Of course, we're going to give you two full propane tanks. Those are two seven and a half gallons. We're going to fill them up because it has a slide out and two doors. We're going to give you two batteries. Brand spanking new and one of the nicest walkthroughs you've ever had. So a couple of things I'd like to point out about the way they build a Jayco and things to look for, whether you buy a Jayco or whatever brand you're looking at. You've got this front piece here where the hitch hooks up to your truck. This is what we call an A-frame. One of the points to pay attention to when you're looking at these trailers is when you look at this A-frame, you'll notice here how it's cut into the frame rather than welded onto the bottom of the frame. Now, for obvious reasons, you can figure out why they do that. In the event that you were twisting and turning and that thing was to break loose, you don't have to worry about a weld breaking and your A-frame dropping down on the ground and all of a sudden you're losing control of your truck and your trailer. That's one of the things the company that's been building trailers since the 60s knows how to do, and that's build the frames correctly and put the A-arm a arm on correctly. Another thing they do is all plywood. We don't use any what we call OSB board, orientated strand board, whatever you want to call it. You want plywood floors. So let's take a look here. Take a look here at our nice big storage area. Not only is it a nice big storage area, but you got a door on each side that's big enough that you can get big stuff into it. You can also access, access it inside by lifting up the bed. So in the event Papa's gonna take the fishing pole out or whatever he wants, he don't have to wake Mama up in order to get it and come outside and do it. Now, we're also going to have stabilizer jacks on the front and rear of the trailer, a fully enclosed underbelly to keep rodents out, keep moisture out, that type of thing. Along with the two doors, we have a very nice sized awning. That is an electric awning. We order them in that way. Makes it much, much easier. I'd rather hit a button than have to unlock a couple of arms and find the awning rod, all that type of stuff, as I'm sure you would. Notice that we have very, very nice wheels. Of course, they're dirty now. We've had a lot of rain, snow, that type of thing. Everything about the Jayco, from outside speakers to your water hookup, electrical outlets here in the event that you got a picnic table or something out here and you want to listen to your music or bring a outside stove out. Let's go in, I'll take a look inside with you. Now on these guys, being a rear living room, one of the big advantages of a rear living room is we don't have any lake behind us here. We've got another trailer, but this is a very big back window lets lots and lots of light in and you'll notice that we have a couple of recliners well actually it's just uh, they've got it strapped down but two chairs here so you have a, a sitting back in the back of it TV would go right up here in the front you got a straight shot at it you'll also notice that we have a booth that makes up into a bed we have a sofa that makes up into a bed. The other thing about the Jayco's, they try to give you as much counter space as possible in a center aisle kitchen. So here we've got the we've got cabinet space along with cabinets up above it. And I'd like to point out all the pieces to the cabinet rather than being stapled together. Take your finger and feel back on these things and you'll feel that this is all screwed together. That's the proper way to build a cabinet. 
don't just use a staple gun on it because when you got weight in there and it's bouncing up and down America's highways, you know what happens. Staples come loose and then all of a sudden you got a cabinet hanging. You've got a big galley faucet here, double sink, a couple of drawers. Those are a full extension drawer. They come all the way out. Notice we've got roller bearing drawer guides on the side. And of course they're going to lock down. Another cabinet underneath the sink that you could put a waste basket, that type of thing in it. You've got an oven. You've got a three burner stove, of course, above that. Microwave. And the other thing I'd like to mention about all the Jayco products. Most of the products out here carry a one year bumper to bumper warranty. Jayco says we build them better than that. Let's put a two year bumper to bumper warranty on it. That's a big selling point from me to you. I don't have to worry about you having to spend any money after you buy the trailer. Should there be something that's not right, we're going to take care of it. We're going to get paid by Jayco. You know what? We don't have a lot of problem with that because Jayco builds them right in the first place. So, so then we've got a Norcold refrigerator and freezer. This is a six cubic foot refrigerator complete with a vegetable crisper down on the bottom, shelves in the door. Here's something I like about Norco. If you like hard ice cream, you can adjust the coal setting. Back in the old days, if you wanted hard ice cream, you had to pack anything you wanted to stay real cold up against the side. That's no longer the case adjustable racks in here, shelves that you can adjust according to whatever size implement that you're putting in there. All LED lighting, air conditioning up here, that is ducted throughout the ceiling so you've got even distribution of air throughout the coach. Not a big selling point here in January but come April, May, June, July it's a very nice selling point. Notice here's where the TV goes. You buy a TV, I'll get it put in free of charge for you. We've got AM FM stereo with speakers inside and outside for your enjoyment. Then of course they've got room here underneath that you can put DVDs, that type of thing in there for you know listening entertainment. Of course we've got the electric slide that's a rack and pinion slide out full length slide. One of the other things I want you to notice is the beautiful laminate floor over the plywood. Now of course you're going to see some carpet that's where you're sitting keep your feet from getting cold. You got the couch nice carpet that's a Berber stain carpet stain resistant I should say. And the other nice important thing is we have the ability to shut off the bathroom and the bedroom. So if somebody wants to go to bed a little earlier while somebody else is out here in the living room, they can do that. They can get up in the, in the evening without parading from one end of the trailer to the other to get to the bathroom. Why? Because the bathroom is located right next to the bedroom. And before we go in there, more storage here for cereal boxes, that type of thing. You know, big tubs or whatever you got, you know. So, cabinets there. We'll go into the bathroom. Very nice, full surround shower stall complete with a skylight up here above it. And doors that will close off and still give you enough room that you can move around in here. You know, you see some of these things, I guess you got to be very, very small person to stand in them. But as you can see, me being almost six foot tall, I still got plenty of headroom here if I wanted to get a little taller. Then, of course, we've got the bathroom sink, complete with stuff already mounted on the wall. Things like toilet paper holders, towel holders, mirror for your medicine or a mirror to look at basically. Storage underneath. You got the throne here with enough leg room that you don't have to curl your legs up. Then of course behind the old throne another cabinet. Notice we got shelves in it. That's a very nice feature. We've got another door here. 
for access for other th other things here. And then we get up into the bedroom, complete with a pocket door. So if somebody wants to spend some time in the bedroom, they can close it off, have privacy in the bedroom while somebody's going to the bathroom. Then, of course, here we have a full RV queen walk-around bed. Electrical outlet you'll notice on both sides. Place nightstands for books, that type of thing. Hanging closets up above with a shelf over the bed with LED lights throughout the coach. And a pretty decent mattress. You know how most of these mattresses are just a little piece of foam? Not worth a darn. First thing you do when you buy a trailer is take that piece of foam, throw it away, and go have to spend 600 to to 1000 bucks to get a decent mattress. This has already got one on it. Here's a way to tell whether your trailer has OSB board in it or plywood. Lift up the mattress and look. They use plywood. Then, of course, there's your storage underneath. Like I was saying, you got the long things you can get to it from outside. We're going to, like I mentioned, give you a complete walkthrough, get you all set up, make sure we're not selling you a trailer that's too big for the vehicle you're using. Myself being here now going on 27 years, I would really, really appreciate it if you got any questions. Feel free to give me a holler. The number is going to be right down here. Or better yet, come in and ask for the young guy or JR. They all know me here. I really appreciate you taking the time to take a look at our video. And remember, I've also got a door right here in the bedroom. So if somebody wants to get out in a hurry, we got the extra door. Thank you so much for your time.